Okay, looking at Tesla's death ray plans and other recently declassified documents, the death ray was nothing but an EMP gun. It did not knock anything out of the sky with long bolts of lightning like everyone thinks. And like what they showed on Tesla's death ray and murder declassified the other day, the death ray was designed to create an electromagnetic pulse to fry the electronic control systems of enemy planes and weapons through their antennas, making them lose control and crash out of the sky. Russia did get the plans, built it, and quickly abandoned it because it used too much energy and resources. And at the time, newer advances in technology came along and cheaper and better ways were developed. Really, that Mark's generator Russia had is exactly what Tesla described, and did exactly what Tesla said he could do with the death ray, which was disable any enemy weapons or aircraft that were approaching. Also, after a few things I've seen... Really, the awesome free energy he wanted to transmit wirelessly and was talking about was the power from Niagara Falls, not power from out of the atmosphere from lightning. Because if lightning did make that much power and had as much wattage as everyone thinks it has, it would fry all of our electronics from the magnetic pulse every time there was a single lightning strike somewhere. Lightning has the voltage all right, but not the current. All the show is, is just the electrons moving through the air at the speed of light, superheating the air causing the flash, and the sound is just a shockwave caused by the electrons moving at the speed of light. Just remember, there's a vast difference between myth and reality. Well, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and remember to always keep an open mind.